Over the last six months, I've been hard at work creating a series of DIY kits in collaboration with the good people at Erica Synths. Now, we've finally released the first box, our voltage-controlled oscillator. Unlike other DIY kits, the focus here is not so much on assembling the module, though. Instead, we are trying to lure more people into tinkering with electronics, teaching them the fundamentals of circuit design in the process. Of course, you're still getting a PCB and panel in the box, but they are more like the cherry on top. The main attraction is all these lovely little components, and the in-depth manual that's included as a digital download. That manual is split into two major sections. First, a complete beginner-friendly walkthrough for the specific circuit at hand. If you've watched my DIY VCO series, you might recognize this schematic. It's based on my shapes oscillator, but includes a few little tweaks. Those tweaks, and every other choice made while designing the circuit, are explained in detail in these bite-sized subchapters, many of which also include suggested breadboard layouts. These are not just here for aesthetic reasons. We want you to dig out your breadboard, or buy one if you're new to DIY electronics, and try these things for yourself. This way, you'll hopefully get more insight into why these components were arranged the way they are. Additionally to the parts in this kit and a breadboard, you'll only need a few jumpers and two 9V batteries plus clip connectors. Then you should be able to replicate all the layouts from the manual. If you get stuck on any chapter or are unfamiliar with a certain type of component, you can always check the second major section of our manual, which contains general vignettes on electronic components, concepts, tools, and finally, an in-depth assembly guide. Because of course, once you're done experimenting on the breadboard, you'll probably want to make your creation permanent. And this is where the PCB and panel get their time to shine. Since we're only using through-hole components here, assembling the module should be doable even for complete soldering beginners. Also, this PCB in particular is quite sparsely populated, making it even better suited to be your first soldering project. After you've put everything together, you'll be able to use your new module in any Eurorack compatible system. Or you can wait for the low-cost case and power supply that will be available soon from Erica Synths as well. Either way, in addition to learning about a whole load of electronics and circuit design fundamentals, you'll end up with a fully featured VCO that offers a sawtooth output, a pulse wave output, coarse tuning, fine tuning, and pulse width controls, plus external FM and pulse width modulation inputs. And because I've been getting this question a lot on my videos, yes, the circuit will track over at least five octaves, meaning that it will stay in tune and usable for a significant chunk of the audible frequency spectrum. To verify this, we'll simply have our VCO go up against the digitally controlled oscillator, or DCO, in this DeepMind synthesizer. DCOs, if you don't know, are known for being super duper in tune. On the left, you'll hear our self-built module, and on the right, the DeepMind's DCO. Both are tuned to the exact same bass pitch, so we'd expect them to play the exact same note when I press a key here. And as you can hear, they are pretty much locked together in this range, and they stay that way even if I move up into the higher register. At the very top end, we are hearing them diverge somewhat, but I think this is still tolerable. But regardless, without any friends accompanying it, our VCO is looking kinda lonely in this big case. Luckily, we didn't just develop one single DIY kit. As I mentioned earlier, the VCO is part of an entire series of kits. There are eight other modules in total, 
a sequencer, a wave folder, a filter, a dual VCA, a sample and hold plus noise, an envelope generator, a mixer, and an output module. Every month from now on, we'll be releasing one of these as a kit, accompanied by another in-depth circuit-specific manual. But enough talk. Let's hear what these guys can do together. <laughs> 